Hello and welcome to the Raw Makers podcast. The one-stop shop for courage, confidence and mindset building. Also bring you all aspects of mental health awareness, business and entrepreneurship. We are your hosts, Adam Ellis and Jason Borman of Raw of Makers. Makers Coaching. So in this episode, is a it's a very special episode because today we're going to hear the story and I'll be interviewing the co-founder of Raw Makers Coaching, the co-host of Raw Makers Podcast, an internationally credited life coach, but not only that, an NLP master. He runs various groups on Facebook. He has his own website. He does a lot of stuff in the coaching world. So today is the day that Mr. Jason Barman tells our viewers and listeners his story. How are you, Jason, mate? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited for this. This is our launch day. Um, this is the first episode of the brand new podcast, the Raw Makers podcast. So I'm just excited to get it going, mate. I'm excited to get it going. Yeah, so let's let's start off with this question. Just interview, just uh, tell us a bit about yourself. Okay, so um, I'm Jason. I'm 29. Um, I've recently started a company, a business. Um, I started out as a life coach, um, a speaker, uh, you know, an NLP practitioner, master. And I help my clients with courage and confidence building um, so that they can align with their purpose and roll with that confidence. So what, why did you get into coaching? What, what's side kind of started it off for you? Um, I feel like I was just like bouncing from thing to thing, like trying to make my mark, trying to find my purpose. Um, was searching for something more fulfilling, um, searching for something that would bring me joy and impact and all those fabulous things that we all want. <laughs> um, we all want to be, have significance and we all want to make a difference to, our, to the lives of others whilst also building a name for yourself and leaving your fit footprint, you know, so that you're remembered when you're, when you're gone, basically. That's kind of like my, that was my want, my vision that I had. I didn't know my vehicle yet. Obviously stumbled across coaching through the coaching masters. Um, big shout out to them, Liam James <laughs> and Lewis Raymond Taylor. And, like Johnny Mitchell as well, who's been on um, various shows like Love Island. Um, I came across an ad on Facebook, much like many in the community. Um, it was of Johnny, uh, Lewis and Liam all in a pool in Bali or wherever it was and like it just looked like the life that I was looking for, if you know what I mean. The, you know, I didn't know anything about them at that time, like when I first saw the ad, but they looked like three down to earth, super cool guys. And yeah, I just really resonated with them. And they said that they were coaches and they ran a coaching school and trained other coaches and, you know, how you could be like, regular ordinary people um with ordinary lives and they were going to give you these tools to be extraordinary and that was like that really touched the core that resonated with me on a deep level um i'd obviously heard about life coaching before because i was a big fan of tony robbins um i've watched and done a couple of like his events before um yeah, I'm just, I 
didn't know how I was going to get into it, but the opportunity came up and I decided to throw myself into it. Like, I think I've reached a point in my life where my other options weren't working. So I was kind of like, right, I'm just going to give something my all rather than bouncing around. You know, and I thought, well, I can help people, I can get the lifestyle I want. And it just seemed like everything fitted. And that was the direction for me. And I took it and I ended up doing all three of their courses at the time alongside one another. So that's the NLP practitioner, um, the accreditation, so I could become an accredited um, and internationally recognized coach. Um, and then obviously boosting my skills with NLP as well. So all that's kind of heavily influenced my coaching that I do with my clients and yeah, we're super excited to now be joining forces with you and creating something really magical with the raw makers. Amen, brother. <laughs> well, just for our viewers and listeners, just explain a bit what coaching actually is. So coaching is a vehicle from which to get someone from where they currently are, like with struggles or... Um, feeling like stuck, not knowing where to turn. And through the method of asking questions, like deep thought provoking questions, you're able to uncover answers that you might otherwise not have thought of. Uh, so it kind of opens doors to your mind. That's kind of like a visually way of putting it, that otherwise would remain closed. So through the art of coaching and asking those questions, really powerful questions, we can take uh, people from where they are to where they want to be by discovering what it is they actually want. Changing their mindset, refocusing, like getting clarity around like the specifics of what they want, like massive shifts basically. They might, um, and just prompting a way of thinking that gets results. It's very results driven, I would say, yeah. So this could be any struggle they have in life, whether it's relationships or it's a, like a career barrier. Yeah, any, any at all, yeah. Just kind of, because everyone has a place that they are. And then, like, if they just accept where they are, that's like the first stage. But then also you need to have the mindset of, okay, what do I need to do to get out of where I am right now? If you're, unhappy in any way or you're stressed or you're you know you're not you're not driven towards your purpose you don't feel like you have a purpose like you have no direction in life and it's kind of like a, a coach can really help bring that out of you and really get clarity around what it is that you know you might not even know that you have a blockage or a problem or a challenge or you know, you might not even know those things. They might be under the radar. Things might have been occurring for years and you don't know what that pattern relates to. Like, and a coach is just someone who can come in and look at your blind spots and give you some direction through questions, you know? And you formulate it with your answers and then they latch on to the next bit. and. You know, it's like a journey that you undertake together. And it's quite powerful to actually witness that and um, share in someone's journey. Like, that's why I love being a coach. So how long have you been a coach then? So it's approaching nearly a year and a half since I uh, passed my accreditation and became an internationally accredited life coach. Um, there was quite a bit of time after that I upped my skills and as an NLP master um, and was able to bring much more powerful sessions to my clients. Um, and then, um, of course, we used to know each other as well. We used to work at a centre called PGL in the UK. So big up to PGL because we never 
Yeah, if that you didn't exist, we would never have met. <laughs> um, true. And this wouldn't be happening. So yeah, credit credit to them. Um, um, yeah, so it's kind of like we've met there, and you've been my friend, and you've been in my circles, and following me for a while. And then you decided to undertake your coaching journey as well, and it's been really nice to kind of see you develop into a coach as well and like realize that you know now that we're you know in the same world we can now join and create something magical oh yes so let's go a, a bit back before you the coach what jobs have you you been doing what so what have you been doing before you became a coach so there was a lot of jobs in childcare, like I've done activity instructing, working with children. Um, that's something else I really enjoy. Like I'm very passionate about giving back to the younger generations. And right now I'm involved in like scouts and, you know, all sorts of stuff. So I do keep my hand in with that. Um, Um, just I was an au pair in America. I traveled like extensively to different countries, worked in different places. Um, on the say winter seasons of so I did a summer at PGL, so I did seasonal work. Um, and then I go out to Lapland for seven, eight weeks and work out there. That was really magical, like. Working in northern Finland, sometimes are like minus 40. Um, that's quite a weird and wonderful experience. Um, saw the northern lights about eight times or something like that in the two years that I went out there. Met the big man, Father Christmas himself. I heard he was a good bloke. <laughs> I put in a good word for you. <laughs> 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 but yeah it's like lots of traveling I love traveling it's one of my major passions one of the most frustrating things about the last sort of two years is not being able to travel as much um, I've kind of turned all my money into coaching and developing myself as a coach um, that probably would have been used for going traveling and so I've invested in myself, really. It's kind of, yeah. And, yeah, now it's starting to pay off, so it's good. So here's a good question for you. What's been the highlights of your life so far? Hmm. Question. Highlights of my life. Um, just any time I get, like, a rich experience, like, seeing the Northern Lights, things that are on people's bucket lists. Like I feel like a sense of true gratitude in that moment for getting to be one that experiences different things that other people are envious of. And yeah, so it's kind of a real grounding moment in that, in that moment. And you just think, wow, so like, I'm so lucky, you know? It's kind of, feels a bit like that. Um, but definitely, I spent a year in America. That was quite an experience. I lived in New Jersey, um, had two host families. One where it didn't go so well. I spent about four or five months with them and rematched and then did another eight months in, yeah, in a different part of New Jersey. So I know New Jersey really well. I know New York really well. I used to go in on the weekends and travel around and see different things and sites and have like a good network of friends eventually, right? So when you first go over there, it was quite lonely, right? Um, you didn't really know anybody and every house is so far away and it's kind of like, yeah, you kind of, um, yeah, you feel a bit, a bit lonely at the start. Um, but eventually you start to make friends and you attend these monthly cluster meetings and yeah, 
you know, you meet other au pairs out on the same boat and you can do things in your spare time and stuff with them. Yeah, it was really, really good and eye opening, really. I feel like I grew a lot as a person on that trip. So, when have you used courage in your life? Lots. Like, I feel like I use courage daily. Like, you know, even just where it's now, like posting on social media, putting myself out there, you know, you're, putting, you're getting vulnerable and that takes courage. Um, took me a long time to come out, though. Like, that was kind of like a big thing. I didn't do that until I was like 24, 25. Um, yeah, so that took courage eventually to like accept who I am and yeah, a lot of things like that. Um, adventurous stuff, I'm always into adventurous things. Um, I like traveling solo and like I'm with a small group. That's like um, I'm throwing myself into experiences that, they, yeah, would scare a lot of people. <laughs> um, that's not to say that I wasn't scared, like, because I was, like, I was absolutely like in my pants like uh, yeah so but that's part of courage you do something in spite of the fear not yeah you do something in spite of the fear so the fear is still there like you're always going to get fear come up like there's seeing it shaking its hand and walking with it rather than letting it stop you I hear that, I hear that. So that one brings me on to the next question, actually. So what does courage mean to you? So courage means to me um, accepting and loving like yourself and your authenticity and showing that side of yourself to the world. That's, that's courage to me, like being able to show up as you are and the love who that person is fully. That's the highest use of courage anyway, right? Love it. And like doing amazing things like because of that courage. You always have that resistance to fear, like that fear that comes up, like, but like I said, it's just not learning, learning to walk with it, shake its hand, accept it for being there, because it is a mechanism for keeping you safe. Um, but sometimes you have to override it and be but in a calm way, not like butting heads. So for our listeners and viewers out there, what piece of advice would you give to someone who's struggling with courage to try and overcome an obstacle or a problem within their life? Um, my main piece of advice would always be to get some support. Like, it's not something you have to face alone. Like, find someone who has dedicated their time and effort and resources to take that pain, that struggle away from you. Like, we don't always have to do things alone. It's like, it's kind of like the misconception of the world nowadays. It's kind of like every man for himself, all those sorts of sayings. And it's not at all like, we're still one race, one, one human, you know, we're human beings, like. We are all a big family. Yeah, and we should all support each other and 
and exchange value. Like that's how it used to be done. You know, if you, you had these old markets back in the olden days where there'd be a butcher and he'd just sell his meat. And, you know, it's kind of like you went to him to buy the meat and, you know, then he'd go and buy clothes from a seamstress or, you know, the knights would all get their blade sharpened with a blacksmith or, you know, or swords made, you know, things like that. It's kind of like you need to bring back those times where everyone has a gift and they use that gift to make themselves alive, you know, and then so when we all kind of use each other's gifts, if you know what I mean, to better our own lives. And it's like that shared value, that shared community spirit, basically. It's kind of like we all have a place, we all we all matter, like we all got something to give. It's all, yeah, making sure that everyone knows what their purpose is and knows. Um what it is they have to give to the world and helping them give give it basically yeah yeah because when I, I could just be walking down the street and there's not many things you see nowadays where people are helping each other they're either putting them down or they're just blanking them out there's no there's no unite anymore no one's uniting to so just oh you can do it yourself yeah whatever I'll go this way. It's part of the reason I want to build a community on Facebook and why we've started to, like, you know, with the Courage and Confidence community, like, on Facebook, um, which is our group. Um, we've started to build um, this community of people who want to support and love one another. And it's, it's, a, it's starting to take off now and, like, the beautiful connections that have been made. Like, even without our help or influence, like, you know, the members are starting to post and interact and it's starting to get real energy in there. That's nice to see. So just tell our viewers and listeners a bit about this group and so where to group, find it. So this group is called Courage and Confidence with Jason. Um, I originally started the group but since teaming up with Adam, like we've kind of taken on the responsibility of it together, but the name still needs to be changed, unfortunately. Like eventually it will say Jason and Adam. Um, yeah. And, but for now it's um, Courage and Confidence with Jason. And um, the base is a community full of like-minded people what I'm trying to do is find my tribe, people who resonate with me and my message and of standing up and roaring for what you believe in, what your gifts are. And, you know, just represents everything that I kind of believe in and stand for, like the courage, the image of the lion, like the bravery. Like I do a lot of like singing and performing. So I like to kind of give people confidence in that way. By showing that I can do it, so why not you? Right. So obviously, I will link the link for the group in the description on the YouTube channel. So go check it out. Join the group. Have a bit of fun. Get that courage back. And then for the yeah. people listening. Maybe we should say like what what it is where we're about to do basically, and what where is where where they can find this episode and like where the podcast is going to be found because they might not know all the places; they might just be seen in one place that they view this episode. If you know what I mean. Well, this this podcast will be on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, and Facebook. So Facebook, it will be in various places. It will be on our personal news feed. It will be in the Courage and Confidence group. It will be in our Facebook page, Raw Makers Coaching. If you listen to this, go and check us out. Give us a like, give us a follow. And same with YouTube. And, you know, next week when we upload 
an episode of um, of the podcast. Um, you'll be able to get if you click the notification bell, you'll get notified when we upload another one, and you never miss an episode. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. That's most important. Yeah, and then yeah, and then you'll be able to follow us, follow us, our, follow our journey. Like we're planning on getting loads of really interesting, fun guests. We've already got our diary booked out for the rest of the year, um, so we've got a whole line of amazing, like people to interview, people in business, people like with strong stories of their own, and it's going to be really, really interesting for us to kind of like pick their brains and get all the juicy knowledge for you guys. And also if you listen to this and you are an entrepreneur or you're in the coaching world and you want to come on the podcast, just give us either me or Jason a message and we'll see what we can do. We'll put you in at some point. Yeah. But obviously from, from next year now, probably like, yeah, we have thought this year. So it'll probably be start of January, maybe going in towards February. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right. And if you've got a really good story to tell, then we want to hear from you. Like for sure. But definitely follow us. Message us, ask us questions, whatever. Because we will be bringing out a lot of value over this next year. There'll be a lot of stuff coming out. That is that there's we're working on something that's probably just over about 10 grand overall. The value, yeah. <laughs> the value of it would be 10 grand. But when you see the price we're offering it, it's a special one-off launch deal, you'll be snatching our hands off. Oh, I guarantee it. I can't wait for that. That's going to be epic. And if you're not following us, you won't know about it. So make well, sure... Definitely you- follow us. Make sure you follow us on all our social media, YouTube. Um, make sure you listen to the podcast reg- regularly. So we're going to be dropping in little nuggets in there and little bits of what's upcoming. And yeah, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Woo. If you're on Instagram and Twitter, I'm on Instagram and Twitter as well. Also, we don't have the raw makers on Instagram and Twitter yet. We need to make one of them. But I don't know about you, Jason. Are you on Twitter and Instagram? Uh, I am on Instagram, yeah. And Twitter, I don't really use much anymore, but I do have an account. So definitely follow Jason on Instagram, which is? Um, so it's Jason Al Borman on Instagram. And then mine is Adam Ellis Coaching. Follow me on there. Follow me on Twitter, which is exactly the same. Adam Ellis Coaching on there. Like I've been building my page for a long time. So there's lots of stuff from like all the jobs I've had and different things like that and my life for the last sort of five years, six years. Um, so way before I became a coach, which is where I've kind of stuck the stuff with that name. Because uh, it's me, it's my personal brand, my personal page. So yeah, keeping it real. Um, so on the on the YouTube channel and the Facebook, I will be posting the links. So on YouTube, I'll post the links for our Facebook page, the Facebook group, for our Instagrams, and for our Twitters, and then on Facebook, I'll be posting the links for the YouTube, Instagrams, Twitters. All of it. So just, just, just click on the link, press subscribe, press like, press follow. That's it. Basically, follow us everywhere because there's a lot that's going to be happening um, in the near future. And we want you to be involved. We want you to be following us and um, ready to snap up any once-in-a-lifetime opportunities that we might be introducing. Now, when we say once-in-a-lifetime, we mean once in a lifetime absolutely um, got any final questions for me Adam 
Oh, yes, I do actually. This is a uh, we, we we kind of touched up on it a little bit, but I want to try and dig a bit deeper. What barriers have you overcome to get where you are now? Ooh, um, what barriers have I overcome? Just a lot of self-doubt, um, a lot of feeling stuck and not knowing where to go next. Um, especially before I became a coach, now I'm like more able to sort myself out when I get into a sticky um sticky sort of situation <laughs> um, where I find myself in a bit of a rut or I make it um, that I, yeah, when I just feel stuck, self-doubt comes in regularly, a little bit of imposter syndrome now and again, like a bit of comparison like with other people and in the industry and yeah, just little things like that that I'm kind of daily having to overcome. Um, but now it's now I'm a coach and I've got ways around that. Um, in one hand, it's kind of made it more um, more frequent because I'm in a position where people are watching me, and it's kind of like, ooh, that's a bit. It's a challenge on my courage, basically, to keep keep putting myself out there. But I've got a message, and I've got a, a vision, and I've got a purpose that drives me. That's kind of how I get over it. And keep nice. forward. Yeah. So what I wanna well, thanks for the your story today, Jason. It's it's been a pleasure to know more about you for our listeners and viewers and stuff. But for the next, like, 10, 15 minutes, I just want to talk about the, the stuff we're going to be bringing out, the value we're going to give to our listeners, our viewers, our followers, our clients. I just want to let them know what they're missing out on because they're not following us. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to be introducing a group coaching program. We're going to be introducing, um, coming out with a few courses in the near distant future, um, mainly around like building up confidence and maintaining that confidence, I think is going to be the main thing. We've got all the tools and tricks and like ways of kind of doing that because we do it daily. So, um, yeah, so if that's something you're struggling with, you're feeling stuck, you're self-doubting, you've got regular imposter syndrome, you know, you're just in a position where you're making leaps and or even if you're not, you're at the beginning of your journey, like taking the first step can almost sometimes be the most daunting step, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like the fish jumping out of the water, like, <laughs> you know? Um, one small step becomes one giant leap that's it, yeah. and basically we've got all those things coming out um, there's going to be lots of value in them um, I'm going to package it up and make it irresistible basically and it's going to be don't so forget much value, so much value and don't forget we will be bringing out some merchandise as well we can't forget about that. Yeah, so we're currently designing a logo. We're going to be forming this company into a limited company. Um, lots of, like, different things. And then we're going to be, yeah, we'll be able to support our business and support our brand. Um, come to know and like and trust us and let us take care of you and your needs, basically. Like, and um, and your wants and desires and we can help you formulate all of that and make sure that you're living your purpose and you're kind of exist or well, not existing you're actually living and there's, there's so many people who go through life and they're just existing aren't, isn't it 
there uh, is rather than living. So one of my missions is to kind of have more people in the world that are living rather than just existing. Like, I think that's like a worthy kind of goal. You know, we need to kind of think about our missions and stuff like that, because we're kind of in the early days of launching this business. Um, um, there's still things we need to figure out, and um, but the passion is there, like for everyone to see, and we want to, you know, give value. And that's kind of our our main 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 thing. Well, we are giving value, all right. There's yeah. plenty of value we're giving. Yeah, that's it. So everyone, please. Make sure you're following us because you don't want to miss out on what's coming. That's oh, like you definitely don't want to miss out. Like the best bit of advice I can give you right now is just make sure that you're watching us somewhere, like uh, uh, whether it's on here regularly because we're going to be doing these every kind of Monday, and it'll be uploaded by about nine nine p.m. every week. That's UK time. Yes, it's UK time. Obviously, we've got lots of international friends and um, and people who are in the coaching world that we become very good friends with, and people who are following us, potential clients. Um, they're all going to be all over the world. So, uh, UK time, nine PM. Um, there should be a a new podcast uploaded and available to view um, yeah so i'm just excited we've taken like a big leap and we've just thrown ourselves into a podcast and we have one small step first though we had one small step it's turned into a giant leap of course and um yeah we've got lots more plans that we're going to be launching over the next sort of few months and yeah we want you to be with us and we want you to be a, like with us on our journey and experiencing getting the most out of what it is we can lead and teach you right um because it's going to be valuable very very valuable <laughs> especially the courses we're going to offer like i said the courses are valued at just over ten thousand dollars yeah and then the, 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 the special prices we are offering for a very one time, I will repeat that one time launch offer you do not want to miss. If you miss it, you're out. Yeah. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> so if you want to get it at that very special price, all you have to do is subscribe and, and press the notification bell on YouTube. Go to our Facebook pages and groups, like, follow, subscribe there. Subscribe to us on Spotify and iTunes, listen to the podcast, like the podcast, follow the podcast. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter. We just want to see you everywhere because you're our tribe. You have followed us already. Like, you're the reason you're watching this. Um, Wherever we go, you go. Listening to this um episode and we just want you with us don't we adam we just want you with us we do indeed um because you're the reason we're here like we want to serve and give value to people and you know we need we want people to share in the journey with us because uh, we want you to get the fire yes we want you to get a fire and roar back you know we want you to relight that fire and that passion, that desire. Imagine what you could be or achieve or have with at least like 10% more confidence. Like, you know, who would you be? <laughs> so just imagine where you are now and then imagine where you could be with not one, but two qualified coaches. Not one, but two. Not to mention, like, soon to be two NLP masters. And soon to be two NLP masters. Because you're currently on that course right now, and I've completed it. 
and told you all about it and decided to up your coaching skills as well. And yeah, and we're going to be two powerhouses for sure. Definitely. So the amount of value you can get with one coach, imagine what you can get with two coaches at exactly the same time. Yeah, so that's like what's good. That's how our group coaching is going to run with both of us. So our courses are going to run with both of us. So it's like two, two top coaches with um, bringing you top value, basically. Um, uh, we're always open. So whenever you got a minute, just message us and we'll try and help you the best way possible. So 24 hours, just give us a message and we'll reply at our earliest convenience. Yeah, so obviously, you know, time zones all around the world. We might not get to back to you straight away, but within 28, 24 to 48 hours, we'll be back with you with an answer to whatever it is you've messaged us. Um, and yeah, like big things coming. Um, and remember, let's draw up that courage and build up that confidence and get, and back. get back your raw. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you for listening. Thanks for listening and watching the podcast. Until next week, we love you. But keep following us and keep liking us. Wherever we go, you go.